Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today is Sunday. I just got back from hanging out with my friends and I thought I would film a video that I've been seeing floating around on YouTube. I'm sorry if my voice is a little bit weird in this video. I think I'm getting sick. Fingers crossed that doesn't happen and I can just sleep it off tonight. In this video, I just wanted to share my favorite house plant. I know that house plants are a very big trend at the moment and they have been for a couple years. These plants are super easy to take care of and I'll go through their names, how I care for them and how you can bring some life into your home even if you're a cereal plant killer. I really hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe down below because I make new videos every single week and without further ado let's get on to the video. The first two plants I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about interchangeably because I breed them together and that is a devil's ivy or a pothos. So both are big drapey viney plants. You can see that they will just grow down. At the moment I have this in my kitchen above my sink and then one day when I move to a house with a window in the bathroom I think it'll be beautiful in there. These plants are great because you really can just leave them and they'll grow on their own. They don't require a lot of care and maintenance. The great thing about these plants is once you buy one you're never going to have to buy the same plant again because these are brilliant at propagating and I'll show you all the propagations I've got around my house. They work so well and they can live in water or in soil. So it's really up to you on how you want to display your plants, I suppose. They're just really simple. I think they're beautiful. Another plant that's very popular that a lot of people love to have is a fiddle leaf fig like this. I actually have three fiddle leaf figs. This is my smaller one. I have one in my window here that's slightly bigger. It had some bugs on it earlier this year, so I'm just letting it chill and not grow much. And then I've got a really big one in my dining room. I love these plants. I think they're so cool. They look beautiful and they do bring a lot of greenery to the space. One tip I have for fiddles is to make sure you are washing the leaves as often as you are watering them because they can get very dusty and they're not absorbing the nutrients because there's another level that the sun and stuff has to penetrate. What are you doing? Please don't mind my cat, he just wants to insert himself in the situation. I highly recommend dusting your plants as often as you can. Fiddles are quite easy to take care of. The good thing about fiddles is they also grow multiple stems so in a few months probably Probably next year I'm gonna have to put a support in this fiddle so they don't flop but they'll keep growing multiple stems and that's how you get the really thick really tall fiddle leaves as well so these are great plants in terms of buying plants I've bought some of them from Bunnings which is a local hardware store in Australia but a good place to look is always Facebook marketplace because there's a lot of people who are moving not at the moment but sometimes like interstate they will sell them for quite cheap or people who just have a lot of them and wanting to get rid of them I would check on there before you go and buy a full-sized fiddle. Another beautiful plant that everyone loves are orchids and this is my beautiful orchid. I bought this last year. The interesting thing about orchids is that this one actually died. So you can see it's got a whole stem here. What started was the flowers started falling off and then the stem started turning brown. So this is essentially just a stick at this point. But I've read online and I've done a lot of research and you really can grow orchids back but it's a very patient game but the end product is so beautiful so all I did to bring my orchid back was I didn't pick any leaves off I let it all drop naturally I've never repotted it just because I've heard the orchids like clear pots because then they can absorb the sun straight into their roots rather than through their flowers so I like to do I've just kept it in this clear pot and I don't think I will change it because obviously I've had some success from this all I made sure to do was water it once a week this regrowth probably took six months so it's definitely a waiting game. So you can see I've got five flowers in total and they're so beautiful. And then I've got a lot of bulbs plus an entire another stem here. Definitely possible to bring your orchid back. Don't just throw it out. This next plant was the plant that started my whole plant obsession. This is my ZZ plant. She's beautiful. She's super low maintenance. Has just been thriving in an honestly shady spot of my house. I bought this about a year ago and I went with my auntie and she said um, to when you're buying ZZ plants to make sure you look at how many stakes they have. So you can see that this one has four. If I really wanted to, I could separate each stalk. I have four plants from this. When we bought it, it already had two stalks. 
so I got two plants for the same price. They're super easy to take care of. I always like having my fiddles in a pot with a little bowl underneath so it catches the excess water because it does drain through. Like I said, this one goes in a shady spot by my front door so it doesn't really get any direct sunlight but it's thriving, it's grown so much there. They're just really simple and really nice to look at and a super easy plant to begin with. My next starter plant is probably one of the most basic ones. This is my snake plant. This is another one that just grows very simply and it doesn't take a lot to look after it. So I got this about a year ago and I think at the time it only had four leaves and now it's got 12 and there's a few more shooting out so it's a really simple plant to keep it's nice to look after and it's nice to look at I like this one because it can the shoots go quite tall so you, it takes up the vertical space in your house whereas the other plants I have some of them just go out which can look bolder and look spaces look smaller if you're in a smaller space I would recommend getting plants that go taller but don't go too wide because it'll give you the green look you want without taking up too much space one tip I did want to talk about with my plants and how I care for them I have these little yellow sticky stickers on most of my pots you would have seen them and these are there to collect bugs I believe they have some sugar or attractive essence in there so all the bugs that breed in plants which is completely normal get attracted to the sticker and get stuck <laughs> which is kind of sad it does mean that there are less bugs in my house which is good the next plant I'm going to talk about is beautiful but I actually don't know the name of it so I'll pop it just here but it is this beautiful plant it is green and purple it's like shiny purple as well and she's just really simple I bought her from a voucher that I got from my birthday and she's really nice to take care of she has grown a little bit but she's not growing out of control I think the pot is really maintaining her which is really good obviously what you me to this one is the color because it's so unique and it, it looks like pink glitter which is insane to me but there's nothing on there it's not like a coating it's just how the plant goes and you can see underneath it's got the red veining as well so it looks beautiful from every angle but it is a bit stubborn so it will tell you when it's thirsty because all of its leaves start to droop and within 10 minutes of giving it water, all of the leaves spurt up and they're all happy again. If you need a plant that it wants and you don't know how to take care of it, I would recommend this one because it will tell you what to do. My last plant is this little guy in a little cat. I believe this is called the elephant ears plant, but I will double check that and pop it on the screen. But this one is so pretty. I think in the cat, it's really cute. It just sits up on my living area here. The plant itself is super easy to care for. One thing with this one is is you have to be mindful of its orientation regarding the sun because throughout the time that I've had it it will lean different ways if the sun's like here for example all of the leaves will start to lean this way so you've got to make sure that you're continuously rotating it so it has the strength to stand up straight and it's not a leaning plant that might get sick eventually it's super happy in its pot and i think it's a really cute plant to have so along with the sticky bug catcher my other recommendation for plants indoor and outdoor is to get a worm farm i've got a worm farm and a compost bin in my backyard i'm all about giving back to nature in that way and making sure we're in more of a circular economy i really like my worm farm i think it's great to make sure you're composting the right material the benefits of having a worm farm rather than a composting bin is you get the worm juice that's the richest fertilizer you'll be able to get and it's literally free well you have to buy the worms in the worm farm it's coming from the worms digesting all of your food scraps it is honestly an amazing fertilizer just make sure you dilute it because it is very strong if you are too scared to try live plants and you just think you're gonna kill them I completely understand I promise you won't kill all of them but a good place to start off is with dried flowers it is my favorite bouquet of dried flowers they're all Australian natives it's a beautiful arrangement it's dried so well and it does still have have some smell I can't smell at the moment because I'm not feeling well I think they're a really beautiful arrangement and they look just as good dried as they did fresh if you are too scared to have plants I highly recommend dried flowers and if you absolutely don't think you can have plants you just think you're gonna kill them a great way to still get that greenery in your life is through art I've just got a framed Monstera picture here this is from Kmart I'm sure you can get some prints online and that way you can bring the greenery into your house without killing anything potentially. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see if you guys take any of these tips or get some new favorite plants because there's so many good ones out there and it's all about experimenting and looking at 
what you want from a plant, what you want your space to look like, and there's just so much beauty in the world. So I love having some of that in my home. Don't mind the scratching, it's just my cat. If you do enjoy this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below because I love making these videos for you guys. And with that, I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.